y'all know me. I am Danielle. I am your host of Primarily Vlogs. You've seen me before. You'll see me later. Here I am. Now, what's fun about this is that I'm future Danielle, and you're going to be seeing in the video past Danielle, so I don't want any comments on how much older I look. I know. I'm three weeks older than I will be later. So, like, I, I just, I don't want to hear about the wrinkles or any of it. So, just keep it to yourself is, is what I'm saying. So, I come to you today to explain to you what's been going on. If you watch my videos, you see that I've been quiet for a couple weeks. I've given y'all a break. And the reason for that is I'm going to talk about buying a laptop in the video. And I bought the laptop. Bought a laptop after Christmas to dedicate to, well, the website. The website needed a laptop. It didn't like the mobile devices. So in order to run the website, I have to have a laptop, but for video editing, to be able to give you guys a higher quality video. I haven't had a laptop since 2018, so there was a big learning curve, just even remembering how to use a computer. They're so different. But then I've never edited video before, totally new territory, so to learn how to edit the video, I've taken the last few weeks, I've gotten, I don't wanna say good profi proficient, proficient at it, comfortable with the software, and this will be the first video I ever edited on the laptop, what you're about to see. Moving forward, I have ideas for how I wanna do the videos, record them in a little different style, originally because I didn't know what I was doing. My videos could drag on sometimes, become maybe a little boring. Oh no, I didn't say it, but you know, you've seen them, you know. And so this one is still recorded in the same style as before. So, you know, don't get your hopes up yet. And I have a few more that will be released from before, but moving forward, I hope to s we see um, something slightly more entertaining. A little faster paced, not quite as like, oh, even my own grandmother said, she sure has a lot to talk about. And I'm like, yeah, because I'm not supposed, I, I don't know what to do with my hands, okay? I don't know what to do. I just know I have to make these videos and show the horses to you guys. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I have a lot to talk about. I'm nervous. I'm nervous talking. But we're going to try to fix that. We're going to try to cut that down, make it a little more action-packed. I don't... We're not going to have a video every day. That was more so for practice, which was... I got consistent. It was good. It was, it was good practice. It's... I don't know how we're going to work that because different things happen different days. And some days, one really exciting thing happens, but that's it. So I don't know if I'm going to merge days together. I'm just not sure about that yet. I know we're going to do two, maybe three videos a week. It takes a little bit more time to edit on the computer, but it's a better edit. And I hope, even though this is my first one, I hope you guys can see that like, okay, yeah, this is going to maybe go somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. As a reminder as to why we're doing this. So in order to be successful with what we're doing here with the rehab and the nonprofit, we need exposure. We need folks to see that we exist, to be interested, to interact. The best way to do that is through videos, is through the internet, is through the World Wide Web. It's just what it is. I, I kind of hate it. I hate being glued to my phone, but this isn't for me. This is for these horses. Most importantly, we need to educate the masses so one day this facility isn't needed because horses aren't going lame standard of care is high enough horses aren't going lame that's the dream right there that's number one number two is attracting people who are going to be interested in the patreon potentially interested in sponsoring horses because i hate to freaking say it but rehab costs money costs us money costs owners money and there's a lot of horses out there who need help whose owners either don't have the financial means or whose owners have already been through the whole gamut of traditional remedial care, have come out with a horse who's still as lame, if not worse, and they're tired and they're done. That horse may still deserve a second chance and could very well go on and thrive, whether it's sort of like Eva, though 
Her owner's fantastic. But a case like Eva with arthritis in her knees, she's never going to be rideable. But she's going to go out and she's going to live her best life with that herd through her retirement. She didn't have that before. She was foundered. She's laying down 23 hours a day, right? Now she gets to enjoy her life. Whether it's something like that or it's a horse somebody's given up on who we can help and then find them a new family so they can go on and live the rest of their life successful and useful and loved, whatever. But we have to raise money in order to do that. And videos, social media, it's the way to do it right now. It is absolutely the way to do it to get interest. But it comes with needing teamwork. So I have to do my part to try to create, try to educate, try to be entertaining. Y'all have to do your part. Liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, telling your friends. Those of you who have been doing that, I love you. I love you so much and I appreciate you. You know who you are and you make me feel so special. Thank you for saying nice things because it really, you and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I feel like a fool. Between you guys and those horses out there, it's like, okay, I'm gonna keep trudging forward. We'll get better at this. So thank you so much. We just need more. We just need more people doing that, you know? So that's what's been up. That's where I've been. That's what we're doing. Again, this video is recorded in the old style. Whatever. I hope you noticed my editing. I mean, just high class, really. I, I mean, I don't know why. But Tim Burton, Steven Spielberg, come at me, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready to do the Hollywood films. Let's do this. Next Spider-Man, I'll be your guy. Not like Spider-Man, but like the one like chopping the films together and making it, you know, into a movie. I mean, just top tier editing. You just, you just wait. You just, you, you just wait. You'll see. You'll see. You won't see. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. That's all I got for now. Past Stan. We'll see you in like five seconds. Bye. Also, your girl ain't got her tripod. She's actually, look at this. That's right there is, well, no, actually right there is where the phone was. So tripod was out in the car and Lauren has a lady over and I didn't want to like, you know, be a distraction. So the angle, you know, just like, not all your angles are good either. Come on, right? Okay, so just, I don't want to hear nothing about it. You know, later we'll have the tripod with, you know, we'll be looking cute and whatever, but we ain't got the tripod right now. We got, we got the poor man's tripod boxes, boxes on boxes on boxes on boxes. All right, I, I, we just had to talk about that. I felt like that was important. Bye. Good morning through a dirty windshield. This is Primarily Vlogs and I am Danielle. We are on our way to the gas station and it will be our first time writing for the Patreon on our new phone. So that'll be exciting. See how that goes. Lauren is going to help a client. I think she wants to leave at 8.30, so I don't have a ton of time because she has to take my car. But that means we'll be at the farm and we'll be able to throw a lot of time into Patreon and a super secret project. This means nothing to you because hopefully you'll see it after the fact. My plan is to put the Patreon post up today. And Yet again, I appreciate everybody who's being so patient while I'm, you know, multitasking, moonlighting on the Patreon. Thank you. It is also almost Christmas. I say that so excitedly, but there's so much to do. I'm so not prepared. Ah! I'm also so tired. Maybe for Christmas this year, I could just take a nap. That would be my present. I'll just take a nap. That would be nice. What about you guys? What do you want for Christmas? Do you want to take a nap for Christmas? Do you have something you have on your Christmas list? What is Santa bringing you this year? Let me know. I'll fiddle fart it down to the comments and let your girl know. Alright, we're almost there. Let's get us some coffee and let's get our type of fingers warmed up. See ya. 
new phone did very good working on the Patreon post this morning. It's interesting. You know, usually you're used to your phone, you're used to texting on your phone, whatever. Which way does it need to go? Like that? I don't know. Yeah, that's too much. You're used to texting on your phone. And you borrow somebody else's phone and it's like you've never typed before in your whole life. You've experienced that? I sure have. Borrowing Lauren's phone or whatever. It's not like they're that different. But never typed on it before in my life. I was expecting there to be a steeper learning curve to, because this one's just a, this is a little bit bigger. I'm not a fan of them massive tablet sized phones. But this one's just a little bit bigger than my old phone. And I was expecting for it to take a hot second to figure out how to text on it. And I am pleasantly surprised. It's almost easier to text on. I'm not sure if maybe it feels, you know, if the, if the touch screen's a little different, a little smarter, and it feels your taps a little better. I'm not sure. I have no idea. But I appreciated that quite a bit. And the other one is that it's 5G capable, which if you know me and you know my tinfoil hat I'm not like in love with but I also recognize that there's probably going to come a point in time where we're not going to be able to have a phone that doesn't have 5G you know what I'm saying so whatever now my area doesn't have much 5G coverage so I know it's not currently on 5G but the gas station I needed to I forgot to download I downloaded the Patreon app last night but I forgot to download the Google Keep app, which is where I do the majority of my writing until it gets too long and then I have to upload it into Google Drive, Google Notes, Google Drive to keep working on it, which is technically what I had to do. But I didn't do because I didn't feel like downloading the drive yet. I just split it into two notes. Anyway, I had to download Google Keep. And uh, my old phone, its it felt like, I didn't know if it was the clouds, what it was. But it would go through like spells of, you know, data speed. And I actually, I did run a speed test on Wi-Fi. Ran it on, my old phone ran it on a different phone, newer phone. And my phone was coming in at like a fifth of the speed. And it was Wi-Fi. So I kind of felt like it's probably the phone. But like down at the barn in the evening, I don't have any service. I thought, you know, it's always in the evening, so maybe it's actually something at the farm. But I know downloading apps on my data sometimes could go quick. Other times could take, I mean, absolutely forever. And I just thought, oh, man, I have to download Google Keep. Well, there's going to take up, like, my whole time at the gas station. And when I tell you it downloaded in under five seconds, it downloaded in under five seconds on data, straight talk data. But so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if it is consistently, you know, quicker with that kind of stuff. That would be so nice. There's so many times I'm needing to pull something up or something. And for work with a client, and I can't. And that is irritating. Now, I'm going to miss my old phone. That's been a good phone. That thing is four and a half years old. And, you know, on one hand for the price, is it really that old? But on the other hand, the things I do with it... I mean, that thing has lived a life. That has been a great phone. Now, I've personally had really good success with iPhones being durable. I keep a glass screen protector on them. I keep them in an OtterBox case. And I've had really phenomenal luck with the horses and with them getting tossed around and dropped and all that kind of stuff. It will be... Right now, it's very pretty. And so it is going to be kind of a shame, you know, going outside because... It's only a matter of time before I drop it face first in the mud. So that'll hurt, but it's part of it. I gotta remember to get the Apple Care protection on it. I gotta do that today. So when I do drop it in the mud, if it does break, it'll be alright. In other news, I'm pretty much decided, real, real close, to being decided on a laptop. And I wanna take advantage of the Christmas sales. <clears throat> so, I'm real, real close to just saying, like, just get it done, do it, pull the band-aid off, get that, you know, pull the trigger, be done with it, so I can really, you know, A, work on my super secret special project a little more easily anywhere, 
but then be um, be able to do better editing on the videos. I didn't want to do any editing at first, but I've kind of enjoyed it. Though the you know the the repetitive crashing the tablet does it sucks a little joy out of it. But I mean, heck, it's not supposed to be doing what I'm having it doing. I don't know how many times I've said that. That's a great tablet. If you need a tablet that you're not going to do like hour long videos on. Samsung Gal Samsung Galaxy S7. Fantastic tablet. I freaking love that thing. And I don't want to just completely wear it out doing the video stuff because I want it for hoof markups. I mean, the drawing capability on it's phenomenal. The pen it's one of the one of the most like natural feeling pen on screens that I've ever, you know, gotten to experience. I love that thing, and I just don't want to wear it out doing stuff it's not meant to do, but I like what we're doing here, and I think we can get better and do better and become more entertaining and just have a lot of fun, so. Oh, that's the other thing. Well, I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere this morning because I, buying stuff makes me nervous. I hate buying stuff, but you consider I make money barely for to put back into this right so this our mission here grows I'm at the farm which is one I'm like you know you might not be able to see that well you guys know this driveway by now come on but we, we make money so we can keep doing this and expand this and help people and help horses and that's what this is for you know so that makes it hurt a little less but I still I'm just I've been I was born with a Spending money just causes me physical pain. I know I can't take it to the grave with me, but I, I go like, well, what if, you know, what if something happens? And then I bought this thing, and now I don't have the money to deal with this thing that just happened. I get rolled that way. But it's part of it. Risk you take. All right, I'm at the farm. Oh, my old phone stopped recording sound two years ago. Or intermittently, you never knew when it was going to record sound or when it wasn't going to record sound on video. Really weird. It happened after I got it wet and I had it repaired. Um, there's a few things that didn't seem to work afterwards, but the repair shop couldn't fix it. So, it'll be a lot of fun to see. This thing records video using, and sound, I've checked. <laughs> of course it records video. But using it for our videos here, using it for maybe, I don't know, stories on Facebook or something. I don't know. We'll have to see how we're going to use it. We'll probably play with it today a little bit. You'll see some of its footage on this video. I would imagine. There's another reason why I want. I, mean, I don't just want. I need the laptop. Is to give everything a home base. It's going to be so much easier to pull stuff off the cloud or you know, wired transferred to the laptop versus having to throw even more content onto the poor tablet. So we're going to close in on that deal here very soon. So pray for me because I'm freaking out. All right. I got to get my car emptied out. Lauren's going to need it in about 20 minutes. Filled the tank for Diesel went down 40 cents. So we're loving that. Can't wait till it goes down another $2. Whatever. Got to roll. I'm not good at pausing.
food is extra heavy today. You may or may not have noticed, but there's more in the buckets. We're going to have a pretty significant cold snap, I guess. I'm not sure when it's warm right now. Creepy. I'm not sh I think Friday night. So, I've been slowly but surely giving everybody just a little more and a little more. So they got that good fiber going through them. We're also going to spread some hay today. Some round bales, so... In case the weather is real bad, they're good for a couple days. Yeah. Get over there. Harder to harder to put on your head, girlfriend. Your little feet. Little feet being crazy. They're a little extra mad because I'm late. There you are. Hi, Buzzy. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Buzzy. We might record for a little bit with the GoPro's regular lens. We just installed the new update, finally. And they've added... Oh, don't just make faces over there. What a little stinker. I installed the update and it currently has performance upgrades for GoPro's regular lens. Both a battery saving option, which will be nice. A cooling option for when you have it on the tripod, which will be nice because the GoPro gets hot. But then, I guess one that's supposed to turn the visuals up to 11. So we might try it and see. It'd be nice. Like, I love the wide view of this lens so much. But at the same time, it's not appropriate for everything. And because it's hard to switch back and forth, I've kind of just left it on. So we'll have to see what this performance upgrade provides. Because the regular lens isn't as smooth. Like, this fisheye lens does a lot to just make the picture look even better. The tablet kind of eats that, but... We'll pop it on and see maybe today. See what we think. That said, it's got the new phone. I caught some Eva vision on it. So I'll try to add that into this video. And um, I'm going to pull the trigger on the computer. I'm going to, when I'm done feeding, I'm just going to get it done. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be done with it. So that means you all need to like and share and watch. Tell your friends to help me out. <laughs> Share the crap out of the dog on Patreon. Come on, just share it. Because your girl, your girl's gonna need you to do that. And hype them up, get them excited. Because with a computer is gonna come far greater editing capabilities. So maybe our videos will actually get kind of exciting. You know, maybe they'll be pretty enjoyable. Give me time, give me time. You know, first I have to buy the computer, and it has to come in, then I have to learn how to use it, then I have to even learn how to edit, because I don't know what I'm doing, I've trimmed horse hooks, you know? So, give me some time, but they'd be cool, who knows? We won't know until we try, but tell your friends, because we need some Patreon subscribers. The, the information, the education is so good, come on. not like I'm trying to sell you oceanfront property in Arizona. You know, I'm, I'm talking to you about some good stuff. Here, we should turn this down because it doesn't need to. We're going to fill Eva's water. We're going to start filling waters because when it gets real cold, 
my hoses and stuff, I'll try to make sure they're good, but they might not be good. The spigot itself might not be good. So I'll make sure everything's full, buy us a little bit of time, should we not be able to fill waters for a few days. Apparently it's not on enough. Though dad was working on the water pipe, so I might have a lot of air in the line. How long does it take? What? There it is. Hmm. That's not as high pressure as it should be. That's interesting. All we can do is tell him. We don't want it up too high to stress all Eva out while she's eating. It doesn't take much. See? She said, bye. I'm leaving. Okay, Eva. Next time we fill this, we're going to have to clean it. Yeah, you're gross. We'll leave it for now. Let some of the stuff on the bottom help to insulate it. But next time, we're going to have to clean it. Lots of poop to clean. That's what I get for making him wait for breakfast. Come on, Dix! He finished his breakfast and said, Okay, I'm gonna leave. You've taken too long. Dix, come on! wonder if we're gonna spook him. He's sort of deaf as a... Oh, there he is. Super deaf. He just doesn't care. I thought maybe you didn't hear me, but really, you just didn't care. Okay. Whatever. There he comes. Good boy. Here. Okay. You leave you with this? Come on. Oh my gosh, everybody's dead out there. That's hilarious. And by dead, I mean passed out asleep. Good boy. You can see Peanut is down. Prince, the brown one, he was down. But he got up with the excitement. Cowgirl is down. And Wrangler over there just got up. He was also down. But we've disturbed them. Dix is thirsty. Reason 4,829,000. Why I'm going the laptop route. I just spent, I don't know, an hour finishing up some editing on the Patreon post so it can go up today like I've been promising. And it didn't save. Patreon does not like the mobile browser. It wants to be used in the app on the tablet, and I don't want to use the app on the tablet because I prefer, when I'm typing on a keyboard, the, you know, more desktop-y appearance. <sighs> well, sneak peek. No, it'll probably, I'll, still, I'll get it done today. Whatever, I'll get it done. No big deal. It's not like, you know, I'm losing daylight or anything and the temperature's dropping as we speak. No big deal. Also, I'm not switching the GoPro camera lens today. I just, the day wasn't quite exciting enough to be, to warrant it. Good morning through a dirty windshield. This is Primarily Vlogs and I am Danielle. It's December 23rd. I think you're going to have a two day video. I think this is going to be part two of a two day. Because yesterday I got too busy. Anyway, you've missed it. You really missed it. So this is December 23rd, which means that winter storm, I believe its name is Elliot, it came through, or it, it, it started coming through last night. And it was so much worse in town. You guys missed it. This is fine. Which, I mean, how much can you see through a dark GoPro anyway? But, shoot. I, so, in town, it's not that we got a lot of snow, because we didn't. We got a little bit of snow in town, 
but it's the wind. I mean, the cars were just crusted over with ice because it is, it was 11 degrees in town. It went up to 13 on my drive. It's back down to 12. The cars were just crusted over with ice, the type of ice that you can't get the door open or use the windows, you know? And the roads were just crusted over with ice. And that's okay. I do not like driving in winter weather. I have driven through a good bit of Tennessee winter weather, so I'm no, you know, Yankee. But I have driven through a lot of winter weather to get places, to get to the farm, take care of horses, all in my other car. I was a little nervous because this is my first winter in my SUV. I bought it in February, and I got to, I got to experience one snowstorm in it. But it was one of those snowstorms where it had been warm enough that the roads really didn't do anything, and it was just pretty on the grass, you know. So I got to take it. it the car was from Florida. So it was enough to take pictures of the Florida car, you know, a week after getting to Tennessee in the snow. But I mean, the roads were fine. So I wasn't sure, you know, how it was gonna do. It's all wheel drive, but you know, you just, you get to know your vehicle. You know, I got to know my other car so well, <laughs> but we were fine. What was concerning was the wind. The wind was so strong. It was just, I mean, you couldn't see because it's just blowing snow off the grass, you know, into into your windshield. And, I mean, the wind was so bitter and so strong. And they talked about a windshield negative 20. And I was like, okay, I believe it. And so what had me concerned was for the horses. They have hay. The ones who need blankets have blankets. But the they do, as you'll be reading on the Patreon post. Buddy, if you're not a member of the Patreon, you better go join we just did a winter post. Part one of a two-part winter post. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to have to turn around. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I don't have the equipment to deal with that, I don't think. I have a strap, but my strap is not going to be enough to deal with that. So it's okay. There is another way. Ooh, and lines down. That sucks. I bet the farm doesn't have power. Just drove over lines. Anyway, so we had some wind. It's definitely settled down. So, the wind, but it's the wind. So, out in town, there was a lot more precipitation. And the wind was so strong. And so that precipitation beats on their fur. And kind of breaks that air gap they have that keeps them warm. And they can go to shelter, da da da, but it's still, it's just not a good deal. So I'm really, clearly we had wind, not sure when that tree came down, but it's not overly windy now. It's still cold, it's not overly windy now, and clearly we got a lot less precipitation. So even if there is wind, there's the chance they're not as wet. The road's not even wet. Now, did we have a lot more precipitation and the horses get really wet and we had strong wind and it dried the road up? I don't know, but I can imagine it probably was not as bad at the farm as it was in town. And it's often that way because town is a little more north than the farm. Well, where I was was a little more northwest. So we'll have to see. That's that's crummy. That tree, I was, I was probably less than a minute away from the farm. So we've tacked a little more time onto our journey here, but that's okay. I wish I had. That's why, so that's why you should carry some straps because well, who am I kidding? That's why you should carry some straps and you should actually have a hitch for your receiver. I've got the hooks though on the back. I could have done it if I had. If I had straps, I could have moved it, but I do not have straps. I got one real, real small one, but I mean, all that's going to do is either break or like just get tied in a knot and then I've got a strap permanently attached to a tree to my car, you know, they're too small. They're for, they're useful for little things, but not that note to self, put a big strap in the car. Yeah, we're going to have to take the back way, and we will be going by Toby, who, have you seen him yet? You have not seen him yet. He will be on a, um, upcoming video. He was on a trim day. I don't remember the day. Was it Tuesday? Monday? Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. He was on Tuesday's trim day. 
Today is Friday, so what's, today's the 23rd, so what's the 23rd, Friday minus Tuesday, you do the math, you'll know the date, the 18th, 19th, 20th, I don't know, but yeah, we'll be driving by his house, I guess we'll wave to him and then I'll, I'll, I'll cut because I don't really have much more to say, I'm a little disappointed the farm may not have power, uh, I need coffee, I forewent going to the gas station, um, because it was so bad in town, I thought, I just have to get to the farm. I have to hope I can. Hopefully when the sun comes out, you know, it'll be, things will get a little bit better. It's not going to get good until midday tomorrow will be better, and then after that, it's done. But I was thinking, if I can just get it to the farm, I'm sure I can get anywhere else I need to go once, you know, the sun's up. But shoot, I probably could have made it to the gas station for coffee. Maybe I should have now that I might not have any power. Lauren generally, she makes some coffee in a French press. So basically as long as I, and you know, I have a propane, I've got a propane coffee maker. My dad gave me one for my birthday and it was one of those gifts that you're like, oh, thank you. What am I going to do with this? But you kept it because you knew when you needed it, it would be there, you know, but you felt bad because it's not a gift. I like to use my gifts. I like people to see like, you're using your gifts and that's not something I can just use. But today I might. All right. We're passing by Toby now, right? No, not yet. Where is Toby? We already passed him. I don't think so. Maybe we did. Maybe we've already passed Toby. I was busy talking. Made it to the little lane the farm is on. Looks good. No other trees down other than some limbs and stuff, but not really even that bad. I mean, there's virtually no snow here. Everything's so dry. It's great. That's really good. I even got some pictures of the road for uh, Lauren so she can see what it looks like. I didn't get pictures of where it was bad because it was bad enough. I was too scared to take pictures, you know? I mean, shoot. I had 400 miles, 401 miles still empty. Yeah, just a little covering on the pedals. I had 401 miles till empty, and it's about 12 miles to the farm, and I now have 367 miles till empty. That's how slow I was driving. Let's see. Oh yeah, those puddles aren't even frozen through yet. Very good. I feel better if, when it really deep freezes overnight, especially if it's wet and windy. I worry about the horses pretty, pretty badly, but if it's not been that cold for that long. It's not been that wet. And they get to see hopefully a little bit of sunshine before it gets cold again tomorrow. It's not tonight. It's not going to rain again tonight or precipitate supposedly. It's just going to be super cold. So if they have a little bit of a reprieve during the day without getting so, so cold last night, then they'll be all right. Plus they have plenty of hay. I was just worried it might have blown away. I don't see anybody. Hopefully they're all either in their shelter or eating their hay. I left the rope down for Eva and the girls in case they want to get in the barn. So we'll see if they all get along. But I thought tonight is the night. I got to leave it down. It would be cruel to put it up. Oh, and clearly farm has power, which is nuts because... I mean, that tree, literally, we were just about uh, an eighth of a mile. I mean, we are just about to pull onto the lane the farm's on. I don't, I don't even pretend to understand how power lines work. I will not even pretend to understand. You could have something happen 10 miles away and knock your power out. But something right down the road, I, I think they're just, the, the power guys are a bunch of incredible magicians who risk their lives in bad weather to make sure we have lights and coffee. And if you're a power guy, a lineman, Thank you so much for what you do. I mean, you keep you keep you keep this world turning. I mean, seriously, you keep this world turning. Thank you. Tap tap tap. Tap 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 tap. Oh, she's pretty, isn't she? Tap 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 tap. Tap. 
I mean, this is a fool's mission anyway, but. I don't think so. We'll see. I don't want to believe it, but I got to believe it. I'm right here seeing it. Can you believe that? Holy moly. Oh, good. That's still water. I was wondering just how fast it ices up. Man alive. This is that water tank y'all watched me do earlier. Look at that. That's nuts. I have to take the foot. Oh my gosh. That'll be frozen by morning, no doubt. Flip some ice out if I have to touch it. I don't want to have to touch it. Ah. Okay, well. Oh, I can't do it without this finger. Okay. Rest in peace. Well, at least maybe buy them a little more time. Oh, that's cool. To do Eva's. I don't know if you can tell, but my pitchfork instantly iced up. That's crazy. And again. <sighs> that one's not coming. Please enjoy the sound of my breathing. My nose is just not doing the breathing part very well. All right, well, in the morning. Hi, buddy. Are you warmer? Yes, let's check. Oh my, yes. Okay, are you ready to go out with your friends? Yeah, stay warm tonight. You broke your hay string. Holding your bucket. What the heck? All right, buddy. Poor Buzzy. Him food froze. Aw. Buzzy. Have a good night, buddy. Y'all very familiar with frozen horse turds? Rock hard. 